Hello to all my followers. This is Eric at RC Monster Garage. What are we doing here today? Uh, we have on the floor armor granite. And the armor granite that we got here got a little bit fire going on there. And I want to show you what happened. And then we're going to go and replace this part and fix it. But look on the floor of my shop. Look at all this water over here. When they tell you guys that their cars are waterproof, it don't mean that you need to drown it in water. It means that you can go in pedals of water. They, it's full of water and the tires are still completely, completely soaked with water. So, what was going on here? If the customer assumed that uh, the vehicle will be able to go in very deep water, I am assuming, and obviously it did not work because the water got into the electric speed controller and fried everything. So now what we need to do is first of all get the right tools and remove the electric speed controller. There's two different sizes you're going to need. We're starting with the two millimeters. First to remove the old one that is completely, completely, completely melted over here. Um, and this is a little bit of a problem when customer actually do that because um, you know the warranty covers certain thing but it's not covering stuff like that and then you're gonna have to pay for the damages you can actually talk to Arma and see if they're gonna be willing to actually send you the part but then you actually have to make sure uh, if they send it that you know how to install it the right way and you're not repeating the same problem so Right now, I open the box over here and I have in my hand the electric speed controller. It's it's stick so bad because it's literally melted in. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the screws right there. Then there is this very simple thing to do. You remove this part and then you have to actually disconnect. Wow! This is actually the worst I ever see in my life. It's literally caught fire and burned that bad. This is how bad this thing is. Um, this is really bad. Obviously, this is going to the trash. Uh, we're going to take this and unplug it. It's from the second channel and put it sideways. Now, you can see here that this is actually pretty badly burnt, but it's still usable. So I can take the brand new ESC and actually I'm going to be able to mount it back in the same spot and set everything back and if nothing happened. Now, whenever I tell customer to open and fix their car on their own, they're always afraid that it's hard to do. This is how simple it is uh, just to save you guys money. You have over here your receiver. You have here the wires that are supposed to go in. The dark wire, black wires always go toward the outside of the receiver to the smaller part we're just gonna plug it in right there and that's it what I need to do is just close everything back right now and then we are done and this vehicle will be ready to run now there is holes over here for the waterproofing for the receiver and we're just gonna slide the wire through it and then when you close the box you're not uh, going to damage this wire and then you have here the water seal. I'm gonna go over there this way. And then we're gonna put back our receiver. Uh, I'm sorry, our ESC. And you're gonna see how quick was this to, to get fixed. Now, you want to make sure nothing is pinched. Everything is working as it should. And I think the entire length of the video, this is live uh how long it's take to repair something like this it's very simple and you guys should learn i'm gonna start doing more and more videos about repairs because some of you guys really need to start doing this is part of the hobby you break it you fix it you go out you play break it again and then repeat now we have your wires we have a couple different wires red to red black to black you just put them in and shove it all the way through then you have the black wires black wires going all the way through make sure the doors are actually connected together and then those wires need to go right there in to the side 
there is a clip that holding them together and then look this broke so bad that the wires came off now all we need to do is make a test make sure it's everything works uh, where is the remote the remote is here take the remote turn it on plug the car back and everything seems to work now steering is working car is working backward forward everything works and that's it this is how simple it was to change esc on your car if you have any further question about how to do the different thing just let me know put a comment below and don't forget to like subscribe and share um I can only teach you as much as you're willing to learn. If you guys not watching the videos all the way to the end, you're never gonna learn. One of the most important thing when you're doing RC, always when you're done, shut off your switch and disconnect your plugs. You never leave those plugs connected. Whenever those plugs are connected, what happens is uh, the computer here trying to figure out when you're gonna turn it back again. So it's keep running all the time. This is something that you need to, to stop doing and then also you're gonna have battery running longer time whenever you need. See you in my next video. This is Eric at RC Monster Garage, Moto Styles Hobby Shop in Granada Hills. And if you need any repair work, we located 17540 Chatsworth Street. We work on Arma, Red Cat, Low C, HPI, if we can get parts, any vehicle in the world beside of Traxxas. If you have Traxxas, please don't bring it here. Don't even mention it here. Anything else, we will be more than happy to help you and give you whatever you need like to solve your problem. See you in my next video. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye.